Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. Data collection is a very important process in the data science life cycle. A lot of times you do not get the data that you want. Let us say that you are working in an organization and suddenly you want third party data. You don't own the data and you cannot afford to buy the data as well. So a lot of scenarios like this, you finally end up sourcing the data outside using web scraping. So web scraping is a method where you try to programmatically extract the data that you want from the internet or some from web page and this being a data science process a lot of times you want this data to be in a data frame because we mostly deal with tabular data and you want the data that you have scraped especially a table into a data frame format and many times you would actually see some table especially html table available on a website and then you just want to extract it and then start using it as a data frame to give you an example if you go to the page wikipedia page of world population you would see a lot of tables now let us say that you want to extract this particular information in a typical web scraping scenario there are a lot of things that you have to do to extract this particular table and then make a data frame and make it some some kind of insight let's say you want to make a bar chart or something but there are a couple of solutions that are available to make it extremely easier for you. What, what will it do? In simple one or two lines of Python or R code, you can basically extract this table, make it into a data frame and then make a wonderful visualization or data insight on top of it. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can extract HTML table like this from either Python or R using Pandas or Rwest respectively. So first we are going to look at a python example then we are going to look at an r example so for python we are going to use pandas library for r we are going to use rvest library so what we are going to do here is go to this web page extract the content extract the table and make a beautiful visualization just to say that we have successfully managed to extract data out of it so let's get started the first thing that we want to know is we want to know whether the library that we want to use is available or not. I'm using a Google Colab environment. On Google Colab, you can actually see that pandas, which I'm going to use for extracting the web page table and Seaborn, which I'm going to use for visualization are already available. So the next thing is I want to define the URL that I'm going to collect data from. So this is the page from where I'm going to collect the URL, the world population page from Wikipedia. So this is exactly where my content of interest or the table of interest is available. So I'm going to extract this page. And unlike a typical web scraping process, we are not going to separately read the web page content and then extract table. That's what you would typically do in a typical web scraping process. But here we can use a very beautiful function that is available in Pandas says read underscore HTML. So read underscore HTML will help you get any table that is available on an HTML page. So if you read the description, read HTML tables into a list of data frame objects. So to repeat again, when you have HTML tables in a web page, this function, this method will help you read them into a list of data frames because you have a lot of tables. So every table is like a list element. And all you have to give is the HTML content or the URL from where you have to extract. One more thing that I would like to highlight at this point is this will work only when the HTML table actually has a table tag. So you can see here now this HTML table is basically designed using a table tag. But a lot of cases you would see on the internet that a table that looks like a table has been actually designed with different tags like arranging separate diff tags so this whatever we are going to see in this video would not work if you have a table that looks like a table but it is designed using diff tag div tag but it will work only if there is a table tag table tag so that's why i've mentioned in the title as well extract html table with pandas as data frame in python so now that we know that our web page as an HTML table and we want to extract this table and this is our URL. We have already imported pandas on Seaborn. We have defined the URL. 
the next step is we have to do pd dot read underscore html so pd dot read underscore html will help us read the html table from this url so pd dot read underscore html of the url and assign it to the object tables once you read this it's going to take a couple of uh, seconds because it's going to extract the entire page content and read the table for you now that this is done you can now print or see the length of the tables tables you can see the length which should ideally okay so there are 26 elements in this so and if you see the type it would basically be a list so it is a list of data frames so there are a lot of data frames that it has whatever this function this method has identified as a table would have been a data frame inside this list so every element in this is a list if you want to quickly check out you can say tables of zero and then when you see you should ideally see a table yeah you can see a table here so where, where does this table exist so if you copy this go here control v control you can see this is this is that table so this is the table that is the first element in the list we are not interested in this table but what we are interested is in this particular table so let's go ahead and then try to see where the table exists so you can either iteratively see or you can just print the entire list and then try to see okay where my table the table that i am interested in is available so uh, you can you can quickly see here that like the first table the second table and the third table and most likely it looks like uh fourth table let's 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 just quickly see the fourth table you can see the fourth table is where we have got the country the population so these are the two columns that we are interested in and the rank of course but this is sorted based on population so we don't need so the next thing that we are going to do is assign this this particular data frame into a new table like new data frame sorry so assign this table tables of four into a new table we call it pop table because it's a population table if you look at the columns of pop table you get rank country population and everything that you have got here and if you want to also see the types the types you can see the rank is a number again same population is a number so basically this is a character and this is a number so we are good with that so the next step is because we have already got the table we are going to make a bar chart out of it so what do we want to make a bar chart out of we want to make country and population in a bar chart so our data is pop table our y-axis is country the reason i'm giving y-axis as country is because let me start with x-axis so you would know why okay um, if you make like this you would have the labels overlap so my easiest trick always to avoid this overlap is swap the axis then you should have this on the y-axis so you don't have to deal with the labels being overlapping on each other so you can you can see this is this is basically on, on a different scale altogether but you can see the bar chart successfully being displayed after you extracted a table and made into a data frame and then displayed like made a chart or insight out of it so all this has been done just simply using pandas and seaborn we are not using beautiful soup we are not using scrapy we are not using any web scraping library but simply using the read underscore html live func method in pandas we have managed to extract the tables that are available from this url and then display them uh, and uh, make it a data frame and then make a visualization out of it so the python part where we want to extract the table is completed use pandas read underscore html extract the table and then find the table that you want make it into or it's already data frame assign it to a new object make a beautiful insight or chart out of it that's your python now let us see how to do the same in r using rvs library so again like i said extracting table is one of the most important things a lot of times data scientists do and because they do not know how easy it is to do with python and r they might actually go with a lot of traditional ways that is not bad or not wrong but when you have easier solution that are very easy for you to do you should probably go with the easier solution and in this case i'm going to use 
R waste, which is beautiful soups equivalent in R, but again, it gives you a bunch of more flexibilities that beautiful soup might not give you. So R waste is the library that we are going to use. Let me road R waste. And if you are wondering how am I using Google Colab or sorry, R and Google Colab, I've got a separate video where I've shown you how to use R and Google Colab. You can definitely check it out. R waste is already available. So next I have to define the URL. Let me copy this URL and paste it here than the existing URL. So define the URL and then it's just a string object. So the next thing is in this case, we are going to follow a typical web scraping process. So the first step starts with con extracting the content of the HTML page. So you're going to simply extract the content of the HTML page. Very coincidentally, the function that you're going to use the name, the method name here is read underscore HTML. Here read underscore HTML as well in R, but it does two different things. Here on pandas, read underscore HTML gives you only the tables, but here it gives you a lot more than tables. So it, the entire HTML content. So from R waste, I'm going to do read underscore HTML and then assign it to the HTML content object. So at this point, you can quickly take a look at HTML content and you would see that it's an HTML document. It has uh, two elements, head and body, and then you have blah, blah, blah. You can check everything else. Now that we know we have got the HTML content, now we have to extract the HTML tables from the HTML content. So you have already got ex extracted this content. From this, now you're going to specifically look for HTML table tag. So the way you can do that is, HTML underscore table and pass this HTML content object. So now what would happen is if you do not give fill is equal to true is when you have tables that are imbalanced, when you have tables where uh, the scraping is not proper, it might ask you to fill it. But because here it worked out, you don't have to be bothered. So now we have got a tables object, which is the output of HTML underscore table from HTML content. Let's look at what is there inside it. When I print this, oh, it's going to print a lot. You can see a bunch of tables, bunch of table objects. So now you just have to think what is required for us. And um, let's let's quickly see where is the table that we want, which is specifically related. Okay, I'm just I think okay. Oops, I think which is specifically related to the population so i think this is the one that we want oh this is continent this is the one we wanted this is the table which is the fifth element so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to just print the fifth element and we have got the country and the population and unlike pandas you can actually see this is still being read as a character because of commas that we have got but unlike pandas again here you have also got this element which is the percentage so now what we can start doing is we can start processing the data. So I'm going to assign this to a data frame. So I'm going to call it D5DF and then I'm going to assign it. And so because DF is a list, we need to extract and then put DF into a new data frame. So I'm going to just overwrite it. And after I overwrite it, if we run this back, you can see now this is a table data frame and I'm going to now mutate it. And after I do that, you can see this is double. So again, I'm going to run assign it back to this. So at this point, I have got, let me just add this snippet that I removed df, okay. So now at this point, you can see that we have got a data frame and we have got the column names. And now all we have to do is we have to plot them. So I have already loaded tidyverse, so I don't need to load this again. I've got df and then I've got the x axis as country and then the y axis is population let me run this oh you can you can already see that if you want to change y and x axis you can again do the same thing that we did in python and if you want to like let's say arrange it let's say mutate of country is equal to fct reorder country population you can see that it is being reordered like you have got in the um, descending order like with the country with population most is already available 
So we have successfully managed to use Arvest to extract tables from a web page and then also make some kind of insider data visualization on top of it. So if you had seen this video from the start, you would have known that how easy it is to extract table from a web page using both R and Python. And especially instead of taking a traditional web scraping route, we took a um, a slightly easier route or more abstracted route where we used pandas read underscore html and also we used html underscore table from our west to only extract the table component table tag other than anything else but if you still want to take a traditional web scraping route you can still do it but as a data scientist if your objective is to extract a table content and put it in a data frame and access or manipulate with python or r typically pandas or tidyverse then this should give you the solution that you might be looking for if you have any comments please let me know in the comment section otherwise i might link this google collab both the google collab notebooks the youtube description please check it out please give a thumbs up and share your feedback with me stay safe happy coding